let's wait on the on that because I have something to say. First of all, bravo, wonderful, 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 wonderful. It's gorgeous. Christine, where do you live? Are you do you live here or? No, actually, I am partially based in New York. And in New York. Brussels. Oh, in Brussels. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. And what are you doing in Boston? Um, I have an audition for the Frank B.B. Grant. Oh, the B.B. Grant. Yes. Yes, great. Okay. And when is the audition? In a couple hours. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I have something to suggest, and you don't have to take it... Uh, you don't have to take it in. But are you playing with Dina in an hour? Great. Because she's great. I'm going to suggest something to you. There are two things about this piece that suggest to me that, that, that what you're doing is not right. Mm -hmm. One is the slur, and the other is the awkwardness of this. It feels too slow, mm -hmm. and it feels as though it's stuck. So what I'm going to suggest we do is treat it like a song, like a Schubert right. song like a leader and if I were playing this for a singer I would play the accompaniment quite differently let's just try <laughs> now, what is that it's wrong, wrong oh. note, this is right.
It's a different feel, isn't it? It's a different feel. And it's more like a song yeah. because what that does for you is it enables you to time everything yeah. exactly the way a singer would do it. Right. Isn't that interesting? It changes the whole thing. It's much easier to play. Easier to play. <laughs> so now if you want to win the BB, you have to play it this way. Okay? But I, I can't guarantee that you will go and can give you a pretty good chance. Okay? So now fortunately, you've got a wonderful pianist. So should we try just to make sure we got it right? Because what I'm just so... She, Dina understands this completely, but what I'm doing, I'm being so flexible with the eighths that I'm creating the illusion of slowness. <laughs>
Bravo, bravo, fantastic, fantastic. That's great. Dino. <laughs> <laughs> now, I used to do a class at the New England Conservatory and I wanted to call it Disappearing Eighth Notes, but I thought nobody would sign up for it, so I didn't call it that. But the secret of music is the disappearing of the eighth notes, and that's what just happened. You didn't realize you had eighth notes, you were just free to play, and the secret is Schubert's sign of one slur for two bars so you're in luck because she's great and she understands you notice how fantastically she did all we're doing is reacting to the harmonies that's all and if the if the if the end of a phrase like the end of the first phrase all the time in the world you can take isn't that beautiful so will you do that this afternoon yeah. great terrific she's yeah wonderful Really beautiful. It's great that you say, oh, so, so great, Dina. <laughs> sure. Everything, just, just stay a, mo a moment, because, you know, everything depends, of course, on the pianist. You can't do anything with that, unless the pianist is willing to play freely like that. You know, I want to, to, I just discovered this this morning. You, you wrote me a, a, a white sheet. This guy came two weeks ago. Do you remember we had the class and he came from Singapore? He stayed all the way through, he came to all the rehearsal. And he wrote something which I just discovered this morning. And I want to read it. And I, I don't want anybody to think this is personal. You write some very nice things. It's not personal. None of this is personal. You realize this is available to everybody and it's independent of any individual person. But you wrote, thank you for being in my life and helping me to understanding what music and life are truly about. After attending your interpretation classes and open rehearsals and seeing you guide the musicians under your care, I reminded myself of how you once mentioned that as musicians, we can never be better musicians than we are as people. I used to beat myself up whenever things didn't go my way, when I failed in meeting goals and had previously set my sights on. I've since learned to see my life as a long, expansive, lyrical line that unfolds towards a final resolution, notwithstanding the twists and turns that happen along the journey. Everything that happens to me is a highway to vistas of possibility, be it rejection or acceptance. And for that reason, I have learned to be happy no matter what happens. So it goes on. Meeting you in person is just about as great a privilege as I could ask for. And my stay in Boston would not have been as wonderful as, as it has been if not for your immense warmth and loving spirit, which shows up in the BPYO members and management team also. I've learned so much since attending your interpretation classes in the line of musical performance and conducting, but also skills in relating to people and giving love and passion away. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And you know, what Elliot has put his finger on is that this is not about playing instruments. It's not about singing. It's not about doing something, it's about being. It's all about being. And the you have acknowledged and noticed that it's not just in the music, but in the management, in the relationships, in the orchestra, in the joy that people feel in the presence of other people. That is the secret. And the fact that you've come from Singapore to experience it, to me, is completely normal. It's absolutely normal. I mean, it's only 22 hours on the plane. <laughs> and he's getting on the plane tonight and going back to Singapore. And you haven't wasted a moment. And thank you for writing it so beautifully and capturing in words what we 
spend our time doing. And that's the chairman of our board right there. He's the chairman, this gentleman there. And he's presiding over a whole organization that is based on this idea, not just in the music, not just in the classes, not just in the rehearsals, but in everything. And that's a dream. That's a dream for me. Absolutely, it's a dream for my life. And uh, it's a beautiful thing that we can share these moments together on Saturday morning and, and find out what it is. Like the difference between the first performance that Christine gave and the second is a world of difference. It's a world of difference. So thank you all for being here. See you on the 20th of April in Symphony Hall. <laughs> <laughs>